Dave Stewart from Amatech Programmable Power and we've got a couple of programmable power supplies behind us that he's going to tell us about. So Dave, what do we have here? Lee, we've got the, uh, the new Asterian uh, models here from the 1U product that goes up from 500 BA, 750 BA, all the way up to 1500 BA in a 1U chassis. So high power density. Below that, we've got the 2U, which is up to 3 kVA. And then the newest addition to the family is the 4U, which comes out in a 4.5 kilowatt kVA solution, a 4.5 kVA solution and a 6 kVA solution. What you're going to find in all these products is a common and interface and this is really the future of our products both on the AC products and the DC products. The Asterian line uses a common interface, common power modules, allows us to offer a similar solution for the user so that if they're using a smaller 1U device for one application they can migrate very easily to something much larger and be very comfortable and familiar with the interface already. Dave, I'm sure you had some specific applications in mind when you came out with this. Can you talk about those a little bit? Yes, uh, we've got a lot of experience in the aerospace and aviation market. That's one application that this product serves very well. It's got the capability to do sequencing and transients, so very sophisticated waveforms because it offers both AC and DC output. That's one application. White goods is another one. Folks doing appliances, refrigerators, washers, dryers, those kind of things. The product lends itself very nicely to those and applications as well. Dave, what are some of the other features of this uh, supply? Sure, what really separates this new Asterian product line from other AC products that we've come out with in the past and also that we'll see out on the market is some of the technology that we rolled into it. Our iX2 technology is a current doubling technology. It will allow the power supply to provide more current at a lower voltage. So you don't give up power when you switch down to an operating voltage that's useful to the, the customer. Oftentimes that allows the throughput of a test. A customer can test more devices at one time, saving them time and money. As well as oftentimes we're able to save the customer money by offering a lower power power supply that will meet the needs versus a higher power supply that wouldn't have the iX2 technology. Well, we have a couple of other supplies over here. Can you tell us about those? Sure, yeah, we can take a walk over and uh, look at the DC supplies next. Okay, Lee, what we have here is the new uh, Sorensen Asterian product on top. And as you can see, the Asterian has the same look and feel as the AC products that we saw previously. Same interface, touch screen, so again, as a user gets familiar with the DC products, they also can be very familiar with the AC products that they need to use on various applications. This unit it was introduced a few months ago. It comes out in a 1.7K kilowatt, a 1.7 kilowatt, a 3.4 kilowatt, and a 5 kilowatt, all in a 1U chassis, so very high power density. So it also offers a fixed range output and an auto ranging output. So the auto ranging will allow the user, much like the iX2 technology on the AC side, it will allow them to be more flexible with how they use the product in their application. The lower unit is our refreshed SG series. This is our SGX. Again, the uh, same front panel, same display, touch panel really a refresh on a very successful SG series that we introduced around the 2006 time frame. We've got thousands of these out in the field and it's very important for our customers to be able to migrate to the next generation SG. So we've made all the code compatible with the existing products so the user can migrate very easily, form, fit, and function. What kinds of applications would you likely to benefit from this? Both the Asterian and the SG will take the customer through any sort of power range from very low power of the 1.7 kilowatts all the way up to 30 kilowatts and beyond in a single unit. So Lee applications would include automotive applications, magnet steering applications, burn-in, semiconductor, those kind of things. Where would people go to get more information about these? Well, people could go to our website, powerandtest.com, and then they can also contact their local sales representatives. Well, thanks for that, Dave. That sounds like very useful uh, power supplies to have when you're doing some heavy-duty testing applications. Right, you're, you're very welcome. Thanks.